Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome back to another episode of Might and Magic 6. We are right where we left off, pretty much. Uh, what do I need to do here? I need... I need to find the armor place, which I believe is right here. How you doing? How you doing? Chop off my junk. Uh, I don't really have anything. Alright, that's... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Come back soon. Was that a, uh, person at... Well, no, never mind. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Anyway. We are going to... This place right over here. It shouldn't be too terribly hard. I think all the enemy types in here we've killed before. I got a bad feeling. Oh man, it's place. been Wow. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been in here. Oh, let's go ahead and put that on as well. Yeah, this won't be a big deal. Alright, we got him. Okay, you guys are a little dangerous when there's a couple of you. Well, not really. <laughs> Yeah, in general, at least this place in the monolith, I'm not too worried about Silver Cove. Um, the Warlord's Fortress will probably still be hard, though, because that's a hard dungeon. Full of nasty, nasty people. Um, probably doable, though. Oh, uh, the soldiers and stuff do have a lot more hit points than it. The other folks do, don't they? Alright, well, whatever. Worst case scenario, I just top outside for 50 seconds and go heal. Because, I mean, I'm right next to town and everything, so... Somebody broke something. Oh, artifact. That's not good. As good as new. Oh, but I can fix it. That's okay. Yay. Yeah. And there went her weapon. As good as new. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently something happened to my wizard eye. I thought it was... I thought it still had a couple hours left. Apparently not. I'll fix that later. Hopefully, uh, my sound settings aren't too bad. I think it was... I think yesterday? Uh, something... I'm not really sure what happened, but for some reason all my sound settings got completely messed up. Uh, and I couldn't remember for sure exactly what they had been at know. previously. As good as new. I tried to get them as close as I could back to what they had been, but... If the volume sounds different and stuff like that, that would be why.
Man, we're like barely inside the door and we've already killed a whole bunch of people. You're a pansy. Are there more guys around the corner than the left and right there? Yes. Oh, is it just two dudes though? Whoops. Crap. <laughs> and there's Skype, as always. I mean, it wouldn't be an episode of Might and Magic with Jeremy if I didn't have a Skype pop up at some point during the episode, right? Okay. Oh, I forgot that there were those guys in here. Well, this just got a little bit more dangerous. I don't know if you guys uh, actually... Go away, Skype, seriously. I don't know if you guys saw him on the screen, but I heard him. There is, uh... Okay. I'd forgotten that there are sorcerers and stuff in here. So we're gonna see our first little batch of them. Yeah, he's shooting at me. There he is. Uh, he doesn't really have any more hit points than anybody else, though, so he's not a huge deal. Um, they do hurt pretty... Or, yeah, they hit pretty hard, though. Or can, anyway. Alright, so there's the opening room. Finally got our head in the door. Let's go... Oh, I don't even know. Let's go this way first. Yeah, there's another... This is definitely one of those places where they just jam as many enemies into it as possible. Oh, I still want to keep hitting you. There we go. As good as new. Oops. Doesn't matter, he can't really run to anywhere. Uh, I think once I clear this room, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna stop recording for a little bit and go check... my sound settings to see how acceptable they are. Oh, they're still... God damn. Just jam a million guys in there, why don't you? If I remember right, the loot in here is pretty good, though. Yeah, just kind of beating our way through here. This place... I don't know, it's not really a huge... Well... Ignoring how zoomed out that is. It's not really that big of a dungeon, but there are so many damn enemies in here. So... We will see how long it actually takes. I was kind of hoping to do it in one episode, but I don't know. Uh, let's heal a little bit. What are you even doing? 
and I believe over on the left here is the sorcerer. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, there's a staff. I'm not even going to bother or er, identifying, rather. I'm not going to bother identifying most of that stuff. Because almost all of it's trash. Okay, that's just an empty room, eh? Alrighty, let's go this way. And I'm getting low on the spell point, so I'll have to watch that. I'm actually going to go check my sound and stuff quick, so I will be right back, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. I checked the recording, and it seems to be doing just fine, at least as far as I can tell. Um, the sound settings do change somewhat once it's actually on YouTube, so... Anything I check doesn't necessarily remain true, you know? But... Should be fine. Oh, that was stupid. I don't have my buffs, do I? Alright, well, I'm here. I think you're okay. I th or, I think I'm fine. I don't think you guys have enough hit points for it to matter whether I have my buffs or not, honestly. There's not really all that many guys in this room. Well... Famous last words? <laughs> Sounds like something that would be my famous last words. It's usually when I start getting cocky that I get killed. Oh yeah, I just gotta kill this one more guy, right guys? It's like three more guys just jammed into this little corner. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Actually, it's more than three. I don't know. Well, doesn't matter. Whatever. Is your bow it's broken? Fixed. Fix that. Doesn't matter. He ain't going anywhere. Alright. There's a ring. Ah. An unenchanted ring. That inventory is getting pretty full, guys. There's a ring. There's some food. Alright. Not really much reward, but okay. Counts for something, I suppose. I always appreciate more rings. I'd rather a bless. I'll get another spell point and be able to do heroism pretty soon here. Let's, uh, actually... Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, he's got all these spell points. I might as well use them, right? There it is. Honestly, I'm kind of the point where with my buffs, my people do a lot more damage in melee than he does with his spells. For the most part, once in a while he gets like that 100 plus hit with the incinerate, and that's definitely really nice. And Meteor Shower and Starburst do tons and tons of damage. But aside from that, it's almost not worth it. Because he almost does more damage consistently. Just through. You know, I know there's more guys in here. I know there wasn't only six or seven guys in here. That just doesn't happen. We got him. I don't know if you can hear him, but one of my cats is crying in the background. Not sure what their issue is. Hi. Oh, that's actually... hold on. <laughs> I think we're still fine. 
I mean, I can just run out that way if I really need to. 37. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, it occurs to me that maybe these guys are partly immune to magic or something. Well, that one was decent. I might lose the cleric here, but I think I can kill the rest of these guys. Um. So, of course, when all I needed is 30-something hit points to kill him, I get a... <laughs> yeah, there she goes. Alright, whatever. Doesn't matter, we're still fine. Um, do I want to stick my head in here? Yeah, we're okay. Oh, and she's back. Not really anything in this room, though, is there? Okay, what were we doing? Oh, I gotta go outside and heal. Alrighty. Hop outside, lag a bunch, do that quick. Put that back on. Go back in here. Put that on, and that on. Wow, that cat's really... Hmm. We, uh, fairly recently, because we have, we're, er, well, we had two cats, but pretty recently we got a third one, and the other two still hate his guts. Um, so he stays locked up in a room, basically, most of the time. Which, he doesn't like, predictably. Um. But yeah, he needs to be in there while the others get used to him and stuff. But he doesn't like it. <laughs> so he'll, uh... I mean, he sleeps most of the time, because he's kind of old. But... Yeah, a lot of the time that he's awake, he'll be... Meowing and scratching on the walls, and, you know... I kind of doubt you guys can hear him, though. It seems to me like you guys can hear things that are in the room that I'm in really well. Like, I know for sure you can hear it every time I make the ch chair squeak or anything like that. But anything that's not in this room... Seems to be a different story. Is your armor broken or something? No, you just suck. 126, 132... Oh, it's the hit points. You actually have the highest armor class. Well, on par with her. But way too few hit points. Hmm. Not much I can do about that at the moment. I definitely need to work on her bodybuilding a bunch. Or failing that, get her some high endurance gear. Like rings, probably. Yeah. Uh, there's probably yeah. This place is... <laughs> it's just so full of enemies. It just makes me giggle. It's like, you know, it's kind of one of those things. If I'm high enough level to deal with 50 of these guys, 500 of them doesn't really inconvenience me any more than 50 would. Unless, like, obviously, I mean, oh god. I mean, if I get, like, a whole ton of them hitting me at once, it gets kind of eh, but... 
for the most part. Yeah. Poor kitty. I do feel bad, but... He does need to stay in there. There's not really anything I can do about it. And actually, as good as uh, once, once I'm done here in another 15-20 minutes or however much longer I have, I will go check on him. Yeah. Just to make sure he's not, like, out of food or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I feed him every morning. But yeah. Maybe he was hungry today and ate all of it. Who knows? Hi. Oh. There is never just one. Oh. Okay, unless there's just one. Okay, you see this? I'm not sure what that is, but that speaks of a trap to me. Um... Whoa. I'll be honest, I don't remember this. <laughs> Ghost of John Silver. Fratern Fraternal Order of Silver. Oh. Oh, I see. Wow. Okay. I had actually forgotten about this piece of story, but this is the old leader of the Silver Helms and the founder, apparently. Which, I mean, it doesn't actually say that, but it's an inference. Um, his second in command became evil and, you know. Oh! And that girl we rescued for the Iron Fist quest was actually his niece. I didn't even think of that. Huh. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Well, probably. Okay. Where'd you go? Okay, cool. Oh, that's... Okay, hi. <laughs> Greetings, enemies. Yeah. Yeah, so I'd actually forgotten about that. Apparently, at one point, the Silver Helms were actually the good guys. I had been under the impression that they were just a group of people that was committing evil acts under the disguise of goodness. And that was what they had always been, but apparently not. It really makes me, I guess, happy to find uh, bits and pieces like that, like the Silver Helm background that I've forgotten over the years. Because, I mean, if you remember every little bit of a game, there isn't really a whole lot of point in playing it again, you know? I mean, when it's a storyline-based game like this, if you remember every single quest and all that stuff, uh -huh. oh. it's kind of... Oh. Was that a three? Yes. Oh. Ah. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very nice. Eh, it's all junk. What's this, though? Hmm. 
congratulations on your new, new promotion. Now with the Fraternal Order of Silver under control, you will have greater freedom in seeking out those not hard enough on evil in Enroth. Eventually, we hope to assist you in removing the most lax of all the fight... Er, the lax... Er, oh, oh, oh. The most lax of all in the fight against evil, the Iron Fist. Continue to do your work, and your dreams shall be realized. Um, so I don't know... I don't remember at this point if we have found anything that discusses who Xenofex is. But Xenofex is the leader of the Devils, which coincidentally is also the leader of the Temple of Ba. I don't know if he's actually the formal leader or not, but yeah. Is it through here that I'm going? Possibly. Enemies? Of course. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch of you guys too. Oh boy. Um, but yeah. And, actually that is something I regret a little bit. I feel like... Throughout this game so far, I haven't focused a whole lot on the actual story of the game. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I feel like if you're watching an RPG series, you're watching it because you're interested in the story. You know? Um. So, yeah, it's kind of a little late to fix that without just restarting the game, you know? But... I'm going to try and pay more attention to that in the next two games, Might and Magic uh, 7 and 8. It's fixed. Yeah. Of course, in all likelihood, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling. Alrighty. And I'm almost out of spell points. Well, I am basically out of spell points. So I'm going to have to go heal again in a moment uh -huh. here. I'm starting to get a little bit full. Oh, don't know. Whoops, that's the uh -huh. wrong person. That's why you can't identify it. Uh -huh. oh. Armored boots of thought. I can probably use those. I sure can. Uh, how much does this actually help? What's my spell points? 376. Well, four spell points. Oh, but less armor, actually. Hmm. Meh. I would rather have his intellect higher because uh, that stat bonus was useful later-ish. Oh, there's a bunch more enemies still. I mean, of course there is. There always is. Oh, and that forge that the guy was talking about in the letter. Er, not in the letter. Uh, John Silver was talking about the forge. The forge he's referring to is um, Garrick's Forge down in New Sorpagal. And we will make our way there. I think we're going to go do that after we're done with Silver Cove. We'll make a slight detour down there and deal with that place. Kind of just to get it out of the way. It's been sitting there for a while now. Um. Whoa! Okay, I do still have my buffs on, so let's do that. I was thinking about whether I needed to make a run for the door or not. <laughs> I saw this one red dot in here, and I'm like, oh, it's probably somebody running, so I'll just run in there and kill them, right? 
It's a little bit more than one guy. I need to back up a little. There we go. Actually, it sounds like it's raining a little bit. Ah, uh, this is the second tier of Sorcerer, and they are... Well, they've got a lot more hit points, that's for damn sure. Um... I wonder if there's enemies in these cubbies again. Uh, sort of. I'm not worried about a single guy though, really. Whoops, there's that little bit of lag again. And... Oh boy, I'm actually quite a bit over at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys, for today. We don't have a whole lot more. I think there's a couple more rooms down that way, and we will wrap that up next episode. And then it is onward to the monolith. Or as I always say, the monolith. See you next time, guys.